Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my kitchen for another video. I'm Derek from Simnet Nutrition and today I'm gonna to cover a topic I've never actually covered on this channel before, but it's something that gets me from time to time and I know a bunch of you as well because I get so many questions about it and it's how to stop late night eating. So this video is for you that think it's a problem, not for the people out there that eat late and are crushing their goals and feel great when they wake up in the morning and it's not a problem for them. Yeah, no, this video is not for you. But if you find yourself consistently rummaging around in the cupboards at night, looking for something to satisfy those cravings and to fill your belly, well, this video might help you out. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five hacks on how to deal with the late night cravings and that late night eating. So not any one of these tips is gonna be the answer for you, but think of them as like tools. And the more tools you have to deal with the problem, the better you're gonna be able to deal with it. So late night cravings generally happen for two different reasons. The one is that you just simply haven't eaten enough throughout the day. You're down on calories and your body is telling you to catch up at night. And number two is you're just bored. You're looking for that dopamine hit, that little kick of that feel good chemical. So it's important to just kind of understand this and you know, when you find yourself rummaging around the covers at night or not being able to control your cravings, try and figure out you know what reason it's for because it's probably gonna be one or the other and then it's gonna be easier for you to fix. So, Number one has got to be make sure you eat enough throughout the day. So if you don't do this, you're always going to be searching for calories at night and you're always going to be struggling with this. So eat lots, eat big meals, eat big portions, have two helpings if you need to, and don't feel guilty about it because you know the food you're eating during the day is probably a lot healthier than the food you're eating after like nine or 10 o'clock at night. So get a good jump on the day, find some big breakfasts that you like to eat and make sure that you do not skip it. Breakfast is an important one. If you guys need breakfast ideas or meal ideas, check out my full day of eatings. But if you're watching this video, I'm sure you've already seen lots of those. So if you don't know if you're eating enough, you might have to track your food for a little while. So first you'll have to figure out your total daily energy expenditure on a TDEE calculator. I'll put this in the description box down below. And then you track your food on a program like Chronometer or MyFitnessPal or something like that. And then make sure that you're hitting your targets because you have be eating enough. And make sure you're eating good balanced meals with all the macros represented, especially at dinner, right? So everyone focuses on protein, you're probably getting enough protein. There's lots of carbs in a plant-based diet, probably getting enough carbs. Fat is one that will help to keep you full longer. And I'm not talking about oil, I'm talking about whole food fat sources like avocado, nuts, seeds, even tofu and tempeh have a good amount of fat in them. So this is fitting. Number two, stay hydrated. Yes, I know this one's kind of boring, but it's another tool in the toolbox for you guys to use. So I know we've all heard the saying, you know, dehydration can mask itself as hunger. So is this true? Well, yeah, it actually is. Without proper hydration, our liver won't work properly and it'll struggle to produce the glycogen that we need for energy. And then it could send signals out to our body to get more energy in the form of food. And although it seems kind of counterintuitive, our bodies also tend to crave salt when we're dehydrated. So just pay attention to that. Like if you're constantly craving salty foods at night, maybe it's a bit of dehydration. Maybe you should just smash some water first. However, if you're craving like sweet all the time, maybe it is calories that you need and you gotta focus more on number one, eat more throughout the day. But that definitely isn't like a hard rule, just kind of like a bit of a theory, but I do find it helps me. So number three, you are probably bored and you're seeking pleasure, AKA that dopamine hit. So I get it, it happens to me. Night times can be tough, you know, you finally sit down at the end of the day and you're thinking of everything that happened that day, stuff that you gotta do tomorrow, and it's tough, you know, a lot of emotions and a lot of feelings and stuff can come up and what is comforting? Well, we know food is and not like celery sticks and apples and like healthy things generally, you know, it's this unhealthy junk foods that we reach for, the stuff that's full of sugar, oil and salt and usually it's refined, doesn't have much fiber, not a lot of nutrition. This is why we don't wanna be eating these things late. So we know that dopamine creates positive feelings associated with reward. So we have to figure out how to get that dopamine another way. So you've gotta do something you love. For me, it's like working on my hobbies, on my RC cars, but for some it might be art, it might be like playing a board game or something like that, cuddling up with a partner, watching a program or something like that, or even organizing something is enough to give us some dopamine. I know for myself, when I like organize the spice cabinet or, you know, my hobby room or something like that, I just like sit back and I'm like, mm. or maybe even have something that is like pretty much calorie free or very low in calories. You know, something like a nice herbal tea might be enough to kind of take your mind off of snacking and, you know, just give you something to do. So number four, don't keep 
the trigger foods in the house. It is as simple as that. This is much easier than willpower is any day. So I know for me, foods like chips, granola, you know, cookies, uh, obviously like candy, no way. Uh, those are foods for me that I just have very little self-control over. So I know that I'm best keeping those completely out of the house and just not buying them at the store. And that food's always going to be there for you. You know, if you decide one Saturday afternoon, you want a bag of chips, go to the store, buy yourself a bag of chips, but just don't, you know, stockpile a bunch of these foods that are your weak areas in the house. So I know this isn't going to be possible for everyone, like if you have roommates in the house that you share food with, or if you have like some young ones that, you know, you obviously keep snacks around for, it's not possible to just keep them out of the house. So uh, what I find helps a little bit is to just like put them further away from where I like tend to chill and sit, like put them high up in a cupboard, uh, like wrap it a couple times in like an elastic band if I have to, if it's like a bag of chips or something, put it in like a few different containers, like whatever you have to do to make it tougher to get at, because if it's just like within easy reaching distance or whatever, yeah, it's, you know, gonna make it even tougher to resist. But you know what? It is nice to have these foods sometimes. I'm not saying that we should never, you know, enjoy these finer things of life, but uh, you know what helps me is if I do grab some, grab a little bowl and just put a portion in, not, you know, the whole bag on the couch with me because I know I'm gonna like crush the entire bag. So just a little bit and I'm usually good to go. And then number five, this one is the one that works so well for me. However, I have to have the willpower to actually do it and it is brush your teeth. Once I've brushed my teeth and I've done my nightly routine, if I then go and like eat a bunch of like junk food, dirty my teeth and then have to clean them again, I know I have like completely failed at my willpower. So that's one that really <laughs> tends to help me. It's such a simple one, but try it, it helps. So those are the five hacks or tips. So hopefully they help you guys out and make it a little bit easier to break this habit or break this cycle because we all know we feel so much better when we're not eating really late. And that's another important part to it is the next morning. So if you are good and you don't, you know, binge at night and feel crappy in the morning, thank yourself when you wake up and really like acknowledge that you did a good thing, pay attention to how you feel and you know, be proud of yourself because that positive reinforcement releases dopamine and will tell us to continue to do that habit. So it's kind of reassuring to know that this will get easier over time as you practice this. And partly because, you know, habits just get easier over time, but this one's special because we know our microbiome, the bacteria in our gut, it changes over time depending on what we feed it. And it even dictates many of our food cravings. I know, it's so crazy. We think we have free will, but if you feed yourself, you know, some sugary foods every night at like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or whatever, you better bet that those microbes are going to expect that every day. And then they're gonna send signals out to your brain, hey, go and fetch me some sugars or fetch me some chips or whatever it is that you're feeding it. So as you continue to do this, some of those microbes, the ones that we don't want, will die off and it'll be replaced by beneficial ones that crave healthier foods. All right, so I think that's probably it for this video. Those are my five hacks that help me with late night food cravings and hopefully they will help you guys as well. So you have to let me know in the comments down below if you suffer with this and you know what you've done to sort of help yourself and if you have any tips or tricks that might help me and others that are reading the comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely like the video if you got something out of it. Subscribe so you can see more and I will see you soon with another video. Much love. Bye-bye.